All you need to know about the Oscars 2024, winners in all segments. In the realm of movies and fantasy, every single masterpiece fascinated us this year. But when it comes to ranking the movies and awarding every aspect, no one does it better than the Oscars. After the 2024 Oscars, Oppenheimer emerged as the clear winner of the evening. The 96th Academy Awards were hosted by Jimmy Kimmel. Oppenheimer earned seven Oscars from its 13 total nominations, including the top prize of the night, Best Picture, as well as Best Director for Christopher Nolan. In the lead acting categories, Poor Things star Emma Stone took home the award for Best Actress, while Oppenheimer star Cillian Murphy took home Best Actor. The Holdovers star Divine Joy Randolph, and Oppenheimer star Robert Downey Jr. snagged wins in the supporting acting categories. Oppenheimer took home the Best Picture Oscar. Producer Emma Thomas remarked, I think any of us who make films know that you kind of dream of this moment. I could deny it, but I have been dreaming about this moment for so long, but it seemed so unlikely that it would ever actually happen. And now I'm standing here and everything's kind of gone out of my head. Prior to praising their four kids, Thomas added that her husband, director Christopher Nolan, was singular and brilliant, and that he was the reason the movie turned out the way it did. In honor of The Godfather Part II's 50th anniversary, Al Pacino presented the category American Fiction, Anatomy of a Fall, Barbie, The Holdovers, Killers of the Flower Moon, Maestro, Past Lives, Poor Things, and The Zone of Interest were among the other nominees in the same category. The Oscar for Best Actress went to Emma Stone for her work in Poor Things. Stone acknowledged the other nominees in the category during her winning speech. The women in this category, Sandra, Annette, Carrie, and Lily, I share this with you, she continued. You amaze me. It's been such a privilege to work on this all together. I hope our activities together continue. The other night, I was panicking. As you can see, this happens a lot, so maybe something like this could happen, she continued. And your ghost said to me, please take yourself out of it. And he was right because it's not about me. It's about a team that came together to make something greater than the sum of its parts. And that is the best part about making movies, us together. And I am so deeply honored to share this with every cast member, with every crew member, with every single person who poured their love and their care and their brilliance into the making of this film. After that, Stone expressed her gratitude to director Yorgos Lanthimos for providing her with the gift of a lifetime in Bella Baxter. She thanked her father, mother, brother Spencer Stone, husband Dave McCary, and daughter as she concluded her remarks. I love you bigger than the whole sky, my girl, she said. Stone has already won two Oscars. She had already won Best Actress for La La Land, released in 2016. In addition, Stone's performance in Poor Things earned her a BAFTA and a Golden Globe this awards season. Prior to the Oscar announcement, Michelle Yeoh, Sally Field, Charlize Theron, Jennifer Lawrence, and Jessica Lange honored each of the Best Actress nominees. Other nominees in the category included Annette Bening for Nyad, Lily Gladstone for Killers of the Flower Moon, Sandra Huller for Anatomy of a Fall, and Carrie Mulligan for Maestro. Oscar for Best Director went to Christopher Nolan for Oppenheimer. In his award speech, Nolan expressed gratitude to Universal Studios and Kai Bird and Martin J. Sherwin, the writers of the book American Prometheus, which served as the inspiration for the film. In addition, he expressed gratitude to his wife, the incredible Emma Thomas, producer of all our films and all our children, as well as the entire cast, including Matt Damon, Emily Blunt, Florence Pugh, Cillian Murphy, and Robert Downey Jr. I cherish you. Movies are just a little bit over 100 years old, he continued, adding, We don't know where this incredible journey is going from here, but to know that you think that I'm a meaningful part of it means the world to me. Thank you very much. So that was all about the Oscars this year. Did you find it amusing or were you in distress with the decisions? Hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to not miss any further updates. I hope you liked the video. Stay tuned with us, and we will see you at the next one.